morning is Rob from GRAF and this week we're going to be talking a little bit more about water and that is a slight hint to what our talk is about today. So let's get the PowerPoint going and our talk today is titled the African Cryosphere Regions and I said water was a slight hint to that. What does cryosphere mean? Well that's the first question we have to answer and these photographs illustrate it perfectly. Cryosphere regions are regions with frozen water. We did a talk before about water and how uh, of the 100% water in the world, only a small portion is actually available for human use. The rest is locked away in uh, underground water or a major portion is in salt water. So of the 100% uh, water in the earth, 2.5% is fresh water, very low amount. But of that 2.5%, 2 of the percent are frozen. So that only leaves half a percent as fresh water flowing through the system available for human and agricultural use. So you don't often picture Africa as having any cryosphere regions. You don't picture Africa as being cold enough to have snow and ice. Everyone pictures it as being very warm uh, or perhaps warm and humid. However, there are four regions in Africa where they do get frozen water or snow. First of all, we'll start up in the northwest in Morocco, the Atlas Mountains. Secondly, moving south, we've got right down to the southeast of South Africa, you've got the Drakensberg Ranges. They also go through Lesotho. Then on the border of Uganda and the DRC, you've got the Rwenzori Mountains. And finally, on the border of Kenya and Tanzania, you've got Mount Kilimanjaro. So Atlas Mountains, absolutely spectacular scenery in Morocco. And because of the high altitude in the winter, they do get snowfall, but there are no glaciers in existence and it's not permanent snow year round. Drakensberg Ranges, similar story there. They get quite heavy winter snowfalls, but there aren't any glaciers and it's not permanent snow. And you can see in the summer, you get some spectacular greenery and scenery. Then we get to uh, the more extreme regions. So this is on the border between the DRC and Uganda, Mountains of the Moon, and you get some spectacular scenery there. That actually reminds me of New Zealand, that sort of uh, scrubby grassland and funny trees and shrubs. Uh, similar sort of landscape in some parts of New Zealand. And uh, back in 1906, there was recorded as being 43 glaciers spread across six peaks and they had 50% of Africa's cryosphere region at that time. Because of the current warming, that's reduced quite significantly, but there are still three glaciers in existence, and they do uh, obviously exist glaciers year round, and they do have some permanent snowfall because of the high altitude. And finally, we talked about Kenya and Mount Kilimanjaro. So Mount Kilimanjaro is in the border between Tanzania and Kenya, it is, a, um, it is a, a mountain formed by volcanic activity. It's a single mountain on its own. It's not part of a range. And it's formed by volcanic activity and it is just dormant. It is a style alive volcano, but currently it is dormant and has been dormant for a long time. But potentially at some point in the future it will become active again. I've also put in Mount Kenya here because Mount Kenya, like the Drakensberg Ranges and Atlas Mountains, gets uh, winter snowfall, but there's no glaciers or permanent snow there. Uh, interesting fact about Mount Kilimanjaro, it's the tallest mountain in Africa, so it joins that special club of the tallest mountains on each continent. So uh, I bet everyone didn't uh, ever consider the fact that Africa did have uh, glacial regions, but there you go, Africa is also ice cool. Any comments, just drop a message below or send me a private message. Thanks for now, we'll catch you up next week.